Zongpo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host Choni. Take the time to understand how your children develop at different stages in growth. It's important to have realistic expectations from your children. Talk to other parents, teachers and caregivers and read information about parenting and child development. All children are different and every family situation is unique, yet there are general guidelines on what to expect from children at different stages in their development. Being aware of these milestones will help you do things with your child that will enhance his or her innate abilities. Let's take a look at how our last week's participants are doing. <laughs> Even young children can learn to be responsible for themselves and to be helpful. Encourage children when they are ready to begin to dress themselves, to help clean up their toys around the house, and help with minor household chores. When they are younger, remember that you are teaching your children how to do these things and you are also establishing good habits. It is unrealistic, however, to expect children to do everything by themselves and can even be dangerous. For instance, help your child clean up their toys and eventually they will be able to do it themselves. Let's see which family we have today. I'm Bharti. We've been in Thimpu for about a year and a half. My husband works for WWF. I'm not working. I love the fact that we are in Bhutan because I definitely believe that it's a lovely place to bring up your children. Yes, I do miss a few extracurricular activities that I could have had for him, but I love this place. So does my son which is what makes it lovely. Hi, my name is Ayan. This is my room. I sleep in this room. These are my books and toys. And this is my the place where I keep my jackets and I keep and slippers. I keep my clothes in these two cupboards and this is my new carpet. Thank you. We watched this program together, myself and my son, and we quite enjoyed it. We were very happy to take part in it. Let's welcome our first participant, Mrs. Bharti, and ask her son, Ayan, later the same questions and tally their answers. My first question, as always, do you know your child? I'm not very sure I know him very well. Mm -hmm. Some bit, yes. Um, to be honest, you're the first international guest um, on the show, and I am really glad that we have you here. Thank you so much for coming. And you've been in Bhutan for a year and a half, you said. Yes. Um, do you think there is uh, there are some really major differences between parenting um, as an Indian parent or and if you have seen your Bhutanese friends pa parent too so um, do you see there are any major differences? No not really I think our cultures are quite similar mm -hmm. so and I think our aspirations are also quite similar mm -hmm. so I don't really see any great change. Mm -hmm. So what is the one aspect about parenting that you thought, wow, we do that in India too? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it that way mm -hmm. because the parents I meet, they seem to be doing similar activities with their children, wanting to take them out for playing. And of course, 
in India studies is so important mm -hmm. and the school he goes to plays a very major role. Mm -hmm. I find that he has a combination of uh, studies, sports, everything sports. mixed into it. So it seems absolutely the same to me. Have you been to Bhutan before this? No. Okay, to a very strange land then. Um, how have you been able to make your son adjust to being in a new country? Was it a difficult task? No, it was not because we were in Kathmandu before we came here. And I've had quite a tough time with him. He never wanted to go to school. Mm -hmm. We landed in Paro and uh, he was like, Daddy, this is beautiful. Oh. I love it. Wow. I just couldn't believe it because I really thought, especially the go for the little boys, mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I, I was sure that he would not like it. Mm -hmm. But he's taken to this place like a fish in water. I see, wow. So it's been really easy for him. It has been very easy making for Making friends, was it hard for him? Not really. He's not very good with making friends because he likes to have his way. I see. Which is what I tell him, which he doesn't agree with. Mm -hmm. But uh, he has friends, yes, and he has a good time. But I have to keep a watch on that because he can get tough. But what about you, though? You as a mom or as, as parents, one of the parents, um, was it difficult? No, just the fact that he was so happy to be here in Thimpu after the tough time I had in Kathmandu, mm -hmm. I really haven't had any problems with him. I see. In fact, uh, the thing that I really was scared about was the go. <laughs> and I took my time to get him the school uniform. I see. He pestered me. Uh -huh. He's like, when am I going to get my go? Oh, wow. So I said, okay, I'll get it for you. And I went and I got it for him. And he loves wearing it. So you help him wear it? Yes. Put it on in the morning. Okay, yeah. all right. Now, one last question before um, we jump into the rules. A lot of the parents who have to travel to different countries, let's say, have to worry about um, cu cultural shock, especially for, your, for the child that's growing with them. Do you ever worry about Ayan as a mother? You, do you worry that he might not, when he goes back into his own country, he might not fit, or he might prefer a different country over his own uh, country? Do you ever worry about that? No, I don't, because uh, ours is a mixed marriage, like I told. Mm -hmm. I'm from the south, my husband's from the north, our religions are different. Mm -hmm. We've been brought up in different places. Mm -hmm. I met my husband in Afghanistan. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I do not, I, I mean, I see my son more as an international kid, mm -hmm. you know, who, should be able, who would be able to adjust mm -hmm. in most places. I mean, that's the way I would strive to bring him up. Mm -hmm. Not look and say something is better than the other. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where you go, you have to adjust, you have to be happy there. And, uh, and I make the effort to make sure that I find out what's making him miserable. I see. You're okay if Aryan doesn't feel passionate about his home country? Or if he, does, if he feels like, you know what, mom, I am not like a typical Indian guy. Can I be something, can I be a little bit Bhutanese? Is it okay for you, if he says? Or maybe a little bit Nepalese, if he says? Well, I'd be happy if he says he's Bhutanese because he loves this place. Okay. He, he, he just loves this place. Mm -hmm. He's, for him, the king and the queen are so important. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything about this place he's been quite happy about. I see. Except that maybe making friends, like I said earlier, is mm -hmm. a little difficult for him. But uh, he's quite... Uh, right. Okay. At the moment, I don't talk about religion, culture, mm -hmm. because I would like him to, to be <laughs> brought up as a child with an open view. Of course, yes. I don't want him to be stereotyped. Mm -hmm. I don't want him to feel that something is better than another thing. Th yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, so let I'm him have okay. his, yes. yeah, an open mind. All yes. right. Okay. Um, I'll come up with more questions, and we'll definitely <laughs> be you'll definitely be answering all these. Um, but let's go on to the rules before we dive into the questions. The rule of the game is very simple. I'll ask you 10 questions about your son and then later on I'll invite your son over and then he'll be answering all the 10 questions and later we'll tally the answers and see what you've scored as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> but let me remind you again, we're not here to judge or put a <laughs> no, tag right. on how good of a mother or bad of a mother you are. It's just a fun game. Yes. Here's your first question. What is the first thing your son does when he wakes up in the morning? Watch TV. How does he make it to school on time then? 
he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, that's the first thing I, he does. He knows. He'll put on the TV, but then he's uh, he knows he has to get ready. And mm -hmm. So is he one of those, like, um, the TV still turned on, he's eating his breakfast, he's yes, getting yes, ready yes, like absolutely. that? Absolutely. Of course, okay. <laughs> Question number two. Does your son love to paint or draw? And um, what does he like to paint? I think he would rather draw one of his cartoon characters. Okay. He's not exactly very dexterous. I see. Okay. All right. Question number two. I'll take the answer as for the first part of the question. Does your son love to paint? You'd say no, not really. But if he does draw, he would draw a cartoon character. Okay. Yeah. Question number three. How much did he score in his last English test? 78 or something. 78. Okay. Yeah. All right. Question number four. Do you discuss with your son what he should be or wants to be when he grows up? No. Okay, so you're not there right no. now. He's young for that. No, I just want him to decide whenever he decides. Okay, I right. don't want to put that pressure on him. So you've never talked about his ambitions? No. Okay, all right. I mean, I once in a while tell him that, yes, you know, he has to grow up and he has to do something in life, but I don't want to put the words in his mouth. I see, okay, all right. So what does he tell you? What does he want to become right now? I don't know. At one time, he wanted to be a clown. At one, another time, he wanted to be something else. And I was like, okay, when you grow up, He'll people find change and Definitely. they'll find their feet and mm -hmm. they'll do it. I do not want to put my idea into his head. Definitely. I'm very clear about it because sometimes parents will, you know, keep giving oh, their yeah. ideas and uh, then the child never has his thought. Mm -hmm. I have let his mind free, yeah. <laughs> to be very honest. And um, I mean, I don't want to generalize it, but I know a couple of uh, my uh, friends and family members who have uh, been forced to study a particular stream as in science or take medicine or do engineering because their parents want them and they're not passionate about it at all so when they go to work right now they're not happy at all so like you said it is very important that parents out there realize that they should not be forcing their kids first of all or even trying to put anything in their minds no. all right question number five for you do you go to sherry square so no. you've never taken him out no. to sherry square do you guys ever go out i try and take him out to his friends plays or when he used to agree, I mean, when he wanted to play football, I used to take him down to mm -hmm. play football. I see. Question number six, your son comes home from school, drops off his books on the dining table or sofa and goes to his room without saying a word to you. How do you react to this or what do you do? Well, actually, I normally go to pick him up from school mm -hmm. these days and uh, some days I know looking at his face that he's angry. Mm -hmm. So I normally ignore it mm -hmm. because he needs time to cool off on his own. Mm -hmm and he will complain about somebody or the other and um, I always ask him to look as to why the fight started mm -hmm. and after a while he comes to terms with it and then the issue is settled. Mm -hmm. I do not have to pester after him. Okay, so you let him take his own take time? Take his own to, time. Yeah. So you're not the one to say why you're upset? No. You don't go immediately no. after it? Okay, all right. Question number seven. Do you and your son make plans for winter and what plans do you have? Since the holidays have started, he's either been going to a friend's place, getting somebody over or watching TV or we play a little bit of football outside mm -hmm. or... Plans no, as to no, leave the country or no, no, absolutely okay, all right. nothing. All right. Question number eight: uh, How often do you play with your son? He likes to have outdoor activity. Oh, we play on the Wii. We used oh, to play table okay, tennis. Right. Yes. So you do play sometimes. Yes. All right. Question number nine: What is Ayan's favorite fruit? It keeps changing. Mm -hmm. At one time, I thought it was the peach. Mm -hmm. Then it was the pear. Then it was. He never liked bananas. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, for now, what would it be? I think it would be apple. Apple. Okay. All right. And your last question, what does he like to do when he is with his friends? He likes to play fighting games. Really? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so fighting games as in on Boxing? video games? No, or? physical. Okay, all right then. <laughs> Go Which on, leads Ayan. to trouble. <laughs> all right, you have completed all the 10 questions. Now we're going to have Ayan over, right? Okay. okay. I would enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> We've just finished talking with the mom, now we have the son here, Ayan. Welcome to the show, Ayan. Thank you. Um, you're very welcome. Um, before anything, just could you introduce yourself? Yes. Go ahead. My name is Ayan. I'm from India and I'm eight years old and my hobby is football. Okay, all right. So tell me, where's your mom from? She's from Kerala. Kerala. And where's your dad from? Delhi. Delhi. Okay. All right. So where are you from then? Yes. Somewhere in between? Yes. <laughs> okay. What about Bhutan? Are you a little Bhutanese? 
Yes. Yes? How are you a little Bhutanese? Tell me. My mother says I'm a little Bhutanese because of my accent. Because of your accent, you have a Bhutanese accent? Yes. Oh, good. That's good. Do you like the Bhutanese accent? Yes. And you look really good in a co. Do you know how to put on a co? No. Who helps you? My mother. Your mom. What about your dad? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. So it's your mom who's learned. Does your mom know how to put on a kira? She put it on when my aunt was came. When she, your aunt had come from India? Yeah. Oh, okay. So she knows both um, how to wear a ko, how to put on a ko and a kira, right? That's yes. good. Okay, Ayan. I have 10 questions in here for you. I'm going to ask these questions to you, but you should also know that I've already asked these questions to your mom, all right? Okay. Now I'm going to wait for your answers. Okay? Okay. All right. Here's your first question. What is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I brush my teeth have, and have my breakfast. Are you sure you do that all the time? Yes. What do you do other times? Are there times when you don't follow that routine? Sometimes. Sometimes. What do you do? What's the first thing? Sometimes I just wake up and have my breakfast. Okay, all right. You don't brush your teeth but just directly have breakfast? That's the mistake I make. That's Okay, that's something... You shouldn't be doing, but you do, all right? Question number two. Do you enjoy drawing or painting? I like to draw houses and temples. And temples? What kind of temples? Bhutanese, Indian, or mosques? The ones with those monks going. Okay, all right. <laughs> Question number three. How much did you score in your last English test? 77. 77, okay, all right. Question number four. Does your mom and dad tell you what you should become or do you ever discuss your ambitions with them? You know what ambitions are, right? Yes. Right? You yes. do know that. So do they ever talk to you about that? No. No? Okay. So what do you want to do then when you want to, when you grow up? I want to be an engineer. An engineer? What kind of an engineer? Making cars. Making cars. Mechanical, right? Yes. Okay, good. Question number five. Do you go to Sherry Square Zone? Yes. Okay. Did your mom ever take you there? No. Who do you go to Sherry Square with then? My father. Your father. Okay, all right. Question number six. Right after school, you come home and you just drop your books on dining table or your couch. and You don't say anything to your mother and you rush to your room. What does your mom do? She just tells me to come up. Come out, she calls me. Mm-hmm and wants to talk to me. Okay, all right. And what does she say? How was my school? Mm -hmm. Let's say you were very upset about um, a fight that happened between you and your friend, okay? Mm -hmm. So you say, Mom, um, I had a fight between my friend and I. And then what does she say then? She said you can ignore him the next time you see him. <laughs> okay, all right. That way, there wouldn't be any problems in the future, right? No. Right, okay, good. Question number seven. Do you and your mom make plans for winter and if you normally do make plans, what plan have you made? We're staying in the house and playing mind games and sometimes watching movies mm -hmm. and sometimes we go out and play. Okay, all right. Do you play with your mom or your friends? My mother. Okay. So you don't play with your friends? Mostly my mother. But you do sometimes play with your friends too, right? Yes. Okay, all right. Question number eight. How often do you play with your mother? Here are the options. Do you play often with your mom? That means a lot, okay? Or do you sometimes play with her or uh, not at all? I play sometimes with my mother. Sometimes, okay, all right. What do you play with your mother? We play mind games like tic-tac-toe, mm -hmm. chess and mastermind. Okay, all right. Question number nine. What is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is apple. Apple, why do you like apple? I like apple because it's very juicy. It's very juicy, right? And do you know of that idiom, an apple a day? I eat two or three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you eat two or three. It's yes. healthier then. But there's a saying that says, um, an apple a day keeps the... Doctor away. There you go. Very good. Um, question number 10. What do you like to do when you are with your friends? What are some activities you do with your friends? We play football. Okay, all right. You don't do anything else that you shouldn't be doing? 
We don't do anything that we shouldn't be doing. Okay, you all well-behaved boys, right? Yes. All right, Ion, with that, you've finished answering all the 10 questions. Now let's yes. take a look at the score, okay? Okay. What is the first thing your son does when he wakes up in the morning? Watch TV. I brush my teeth. Does your son love to paint or draw? And what does he like to paint? Draw one of his cartoon characters. Horses and temples. How much did he score in his last English test? 78. 77. Do you discuss with your son what he should be or wants to be when he grows up? No. No. To Sherry Square zone? No, no. No. Your son comes home from school, drops off his books on the dining table or sofa, and goes to his room without saying a word to you. How do you react to this or what do you do? He needs time to cool off on his own. He wants to talk to me. Do you and your son make plans for winter and what plans do you have? Watching TV or we play a little bit of football. Sometimes watching movies and sometimes we go out and play. How often do you play with your son? We play on the week. I play sometimes with my mother. What is Ayan's favorite fruit? The apple. Apple. What does he like to do when he is with his friends? Fighting games. We play football. We now have the scores and your mom and you have scored 5 out of 10. So she just passed. <laughs> is that a good score? Yes. Yes? yes? You think it's a good score? Yes. Why do you think so? Because it's not too low. It's not too low. And um, like I said before, Ayan, I told your mom that this is, um, this is not a show where we scientifically measure everything and tell you whether you are a good mother or not. This is just a fun game. And in games, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't do so well, right? I didn't tell her to study a book. <laughs> she just came here without any preparation, right? Yes. And she did so well. I can totally tell that you are happy for your mom and the score, right? Yes. That's good. Let's visit the uh, questions that you weren't able to answer correctly. The first one, I asked your mom what you do in the morning, the first thing. Your mom said, watching TV. You watch TV. <laughs> No, is your mom true? Are you or is it you? Who's true here? Who's correct? Me. You're correct. You don't watch TV in the morning. No. Okay, so we'll not give your mom any points here then. You said your son does not like painting or drawing, but he said he enjoys drawing, right? Yeah. Right. You enjoy drawing, and he's he likes to draw houses and temples, whereas you said cartoon characters, right? Question number six was the situation that I gave you if you came to school, if you came home from school a little not so happy. What would your mom do? I asked. Your mom said you, she would let you cool off. She would not talk to you immediately. She would let you take your time and um, just cool down and not be so fired up. Does she do that? Or does mm. she just say, come on, tell me what happened. Tell me, tell me, tell me. She just tells me what happened in school. Mm -hmm. Okay, she does ask you. And I think she does that because... She, why do you think she, she does it? Because she wants to. Make sure that I'm fine. That's good, right? I'm yes. glad you know that. She wants to know what you're thinking, what you're going through, right? But your mom said um, she would let you, you take your time, so we're not, we're not able to give you any score point here, okay? The last question that you weren't able to answer is what does he like to do when he is with his friend? And that was, your mom said you like to get physical. Is that true? No. Okay. Your mom said you like fighting games, wrestling, is that? With me too. <gasps> no. <laughs> you do that too with your mom. No, but I you, don't. But you said you like playing football, right? Yes. And play video games. So who's true here? Me. Are you honest? 
Yes. You sure you're honest? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll trust you. So good job on this. Uh, you're a ter terrific mother. <laughs> I can tell just because he's very open in communicating with you. Just if he has to retaliate, he'll retaliate immediately. Yes. There's no hindrance, no. which is very good. Now we have come to the next segment, which is uh, commitment. Now, looking at the answers that you've given, I've already read out the differences. Do you have any reflection on just how you're doing as a mom or just the out of the 10 questions? Play a lot more would have been nice, mm -hmm. but uh, we spend a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he's a single kid. Mm -hmm. So we really do spend a lot of time together. So we end up with our share of fun doing that. That's good. So do you like playing with mom? Yes. So who would you prefer, your mom or your friends, to um, play with? Your mom. That's a huge compliment. <laughs> no, seriously. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, Ayan. Now we're going to go to the last segment of the show where it, it's called With Love. And I'm going to have you guys read your letters to each other, all right? We're going to start with your mom. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. My dearest Ayan. I love you very much. You make my life fun and enjoyable. We have our moments of frustration, but I think we overcome them with laughter, and that is what matters most. Thank God for you being you. I enjoy all our time together. I think you could be a little more patient. You are the best, my little boy. Lots of love, Mama. Do you think you could be a little more patient, or is that impossible? I think I can be a little more patient. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but you know what, Ayan, at your age, most of the children, most of the boys are a little impatient, right? So you have to try to overcome that challenge and be a very patient and very sweet guy that you are, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, here's your letter. He's given me the letter. I'm going to give it back to you. You're going to read it out loud so your mom can hear it, all right? Dear Mama, I love you so much. Mama, I cannot live without you. You helped me a lot. Thank you. You are the best mother I can ever, ever have. I love being in Timpu with you. Lots of love, Ayan. That's very sweet, Ayan. Have you ever written to your mom before? Yes. When did you write? I wrote when we started learning how to write letters. Oh, okay. But do you write to your mom quite often? No, not really, which is why we've come up with this show, because we feel that, um, especially in our culture, we don't um, practice letter writing as much. It wasn't there before, and now because of the internet and the fact that we're talking face to face, it has eliminated the need and the, the beauty of letter writing, which is why mm -hmm. short letters we have here are just so precious to us. But thank you so much for writing the letters and coming to the show. And to wind up, Ayan, we have a little gift from Titan to you for being an adorable son and a very, very lovely guest here. Thank you. You're welcome. You can open it up and take a look. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. Good. Well, I'm glad you like it here. Can I take a look at it? I didn't take Turn it. Around. Blue in color, right? Yes. Very boyish. Do you like it? Yeah. And okay. blue is normally my favorite color. Blue is? My favorite color. Your favorite color. That's what a coincidence. We did not know that and you got blue. Now, I know you're not um, a native of this country, yes. but I know you enjoy history, right? Yes. So this would be history someday. And it is written by Sangeet Tenzin, all right? So okay. he is giving this as a gift to you. Thank you, Sangeet Tenzin. Good. Do you enjoy reading books? Yes. Sorry. This is his favorite king. Oh, really? The fourth king. So why do you like him the most? Because he was the king who used to give everything to his people. Yeah, right? He's given everything. Everything. And if you complete that book, you would understand what everything means. He's given a lot. After reading that book, you'll only like him more, right? Yes. Allow your kids to experience life for themselves. Don't make decisions for them all the time. They must learn how to live with the consequences from the choices they have made. 
After all, they will have to learn to think for themselves at some point. It's best they start when you are there to help minimize the negative consequences and accentuate the positive ones. They need to learn that their own actions have consequences, good or bad. By doing so, it helps them to become good decision makers and problem solvers so that they are prepared for independence and adulthood. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.pt. Thank you and bye-bye.